So let's get back to his original question, which is when you can use an instantaneous water. People love them, sure. super efficient, you love yeah. them. Yep. When does it make sense to go to electric with instantaneous? Well, let's start with any instantaneous, it's gonna hang on the wall and it's gonna use nothing except when you open up a faucet. Right. So in that case, a tank type water heater has a burner underneath it that's on all day, all night, you know, heating up the water. So with this, we need a bigger burner and when you open up the faucet, it heats up the water, but it has to be a lot more power available, right. okay? This is a gas unit, right. and so even though it's gonna use less energy over time, right. it's gonna need a big burst of gas That's right. for a short period right. of time. So now you go to electric, the same issue applies. That's an electric. This is, isn't this cool? This <laughs> is an electric, whole house electric, that. right? So cold in, hot out, it's, but the same question about having more available power. So inside a unit like this, you've got three elements, one, two, three, which means you might need three 40 amp breakers, which is 120 amps. Many houses don't have that kind of available power. They so only have 100 amps, okay. okay? So the other thing to consider with any of these instantaneous water heaters is the thing called temperature rise. What temperature is the groundwater coming into the building? And that varies across the country? Depends on where you live. Huh. Down in Florida or in the Texas Panhandle, you might have groundwater that could come in at 60 or 70 or even higher sometimes. So now that's not hard to heat water from 70 to 120. And up here in New England? 40, we can go down oh, into, into the high 30s, okay? Difference. So now if you're trying to heat all that, you have to have plenty of power to be able to do it. But a unit like this in New England uh, could give you about two to 2.2 .2 gallons per minute. So right, right at the threshold of one shower, that's right. one shower. So only. I don't think that's viable for a house with two or three bathrooms and a bunch of kids and family. Right. It's, if it is a whole house unit. You, you, you could put it, say, in an in-law suite yep. or an ancillary building, right? That's right. If you're down in Texas, this could potentially it, go it for could the whole- It carry it all day, as long as you have enough available power coming right. into the building. Right, cool. All right, good information. All as right. always, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.